Hello and welcome to today's video. We're going book shopping. Um, I'm sure you can tell by the title and probably the thumbnail. But yeah, we're going to go book shopping today and tomorrow. So basically when I go book shopping I pretty much only go into charity shops and I search and scour the shelves and try to look for the books that I want. Which, I mean, it's a long process but you get some real bargains. For instance, I don't know. Yeah. So for instance, I got this, The Binding by Bridget Collins for £2 and that's kind of the upper end of what you tend to pay for them. So yeah, I don't think I've ever spent more than £3 on a book and that's very nice. Uh, but obviously it takes a bit of time. So today I'm going to go book shopping by myself, just walking into town going to all the charity shop and then also tomorrow uh me and jay will go book shopping probably just to some of the little surrounding towns but every town by me has loads of really good charity shops for book shopping and then some of the little towns a bit further away have some nice like independent bookstores as well so it'll be nice to go in those so yeah i'm just going to take you along with me today i don't know how much footage we will get because it's just me but tomorrow Jay can be in charge of the camera so yeah hopefully you'll get to see a good range of what there is, how I search, how I go about it all and hopefully it'll be some fun and hopefully I'll find some good bargains as well because that's what I'm really looking for. And of course at the end of tomorrow I will do a little bit of a wrap up and show you exactly what I managed to buy. Let's get going. Okay, so I'm back now. Uh, I'm glad I've got back when I did because it looks like it is gonna start raining any minute. But yeah, this was a very successful shopping trip. I don't wanna spoil anything because I'm planning on doing like a full proper book haul at the end of this video after I've been shopping tomorrow as well. But um, I spent £9.50 today. <laughs> And I got all these. So I'm very excited. This is why I really advocate for shopping in charity shops. Because I've got some amazing books here. But yeah, I'm sure you would have seen some of the books in the clips I got. Um, sorry if they're not very good. In in like the first four charity shops I used my camera. Then it was getting late. And in the last charity shop it was super busy. So I just used my phone. And I was like, it's just going to have to do. Because I'm like already trying to avoid people. Um, yeah. Stay two metres apart. 
I'll, I'll do a couple, like a couple that I'm really excited about. I found some Vampire Academy graphic novels. I found three. I haven't checked which three they are yet, but uh, I know I've got the first one. And then there's two others as well. Um, so that's really exciting. I didn't even know they were a thing, and now I'm like, I need to read them right now. So for £2, I got Margaret Atwood, The Testament. So this is, I don't think it's necessarily a sequel. I don't think it follows the same characters to my knowledge but it's a follow-on from The Handmaid's Tale so very excited and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen altogether from today's outed nine pound fifty for thirteen books and this one was two pound so that's seven pound fifty for twelve books if you like exclude this one so yeah um and tomorrow should be good i think we're probably gonna go to two little towns nearby but yeah um it should be really fun so i will check back in tomorrow when we're ready to go out and have properly decided where we're gonna go We've arrived at Bewdley. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go explore. Okay, so we're back at the car now. We're done in Bewdley. Um, we went in loads of charity shops. They're really good. Got some really good things. And then we also went into like a little independent bookstore. And the lovely Jay got me Cinderella is Dead, which I've heard a lot of good things about. So I'm very excited to read this. And yeah, very excited. I'll show you the rest of the books later. But we're going to head over to Stowerport on 7 now. So hopefully there'll be some good books there i know the charity shop for books are really good over there so yeah so the first shop that was planned there's one bookshelf well i've just gone in and the one bookshelf has re been replaced three quarters full of dvds and only one shelf of books so let's keep looking mm -hmm. I do say so myself. I've had a very pleasant day so far. Have I? Have. Yeah. Tell about the book you got. Ah, yes, I bought a book. It wasn't from a charity shop. It's from struggling a struggling charity shop. Yeah, yeah, charity shops don't really have the type of books that I like. 
But um, yeah, I got this. It's called The Little Book of Humanism. I had a look on Goodreads while we were in the shop and it was very highly reviewed. Um, it sounds really good. Um, and humanism is something that I really want to learn more about. Um, so this like seems like a little bit of an introduction. So yeah. We're going to a place, well, I'm not sure what the name is. It, it, Mucky Duck Book Swap. Okay, so it's a book swap. Um, and the, the point is, it's like a, a place, I think it's just a shed in someone's garden where there's a bunch of books and then you can pay 50p to take a book or you can swap a book for one of your own. And we've got some books that we've been meaning to donate. So we're gonna drop some books off and hopefully collect some books as well. These are the books to drop. Ah, these them. are the books to drop. Yeah, we were gonna take them to a charity shop but we just never got around to it. So we're gonna swap them for new books. Well, not, not new, but different. <laughs> home now I've got the anti-backs out because I buy from charity shops I do just give them all a good anti-back and a dry when we get back just to be safe so I'm going to do that for all of the books that we got today and then I'll show you what I got and do the little book haul normally if I was doing two days of book shopping like this I'd maybe get half or like even a quarter of this amount I am very impressed with the shop I've brought 31 books these last two days Technically I've brought 30 because Jay bought me the one from the independent shop, but uh, yeah. I'll go through them properly in a minute, but like, here's a sneak peek. <laughs> Honestly, this makes me so happy. Uh, I love reading. I read a lot. Okay, so I'm now ready to do this little haul section at the end. Um, I wanted to hold up the books, like the piles. But that's not gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and stay like in the center of my camera. Hold them up one side <laughs> and hold them up the other. And I'm gonna go and split screen it to like show just how many there are. Because this is absolutely crazy. Like this never happens. I never buy this many books. Like this just, it doesn't happen. It doesn't. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I am surprised. Okay, I've got the first lot. And this is Days Two's books. <laughs> so I'm sure you'll have just seen that patched together. Hopefully it didn't too weird. But yeah, that is the amount of books. So let's just get into it. I'm gonna tell you where I got them, the price paid for it, the RRP, Goodreads, and then talk a little bit about it. So hopefully it won't take too long. And yeah, let me know down below like what books you are looking out for in your shopping trips and if you think about good deals or bad deals because like some of these were free, some of them I think the most I paid was £2 so let's go through. So on Friday the first shop I went into was Sense Charity Shop. If I'm looking down at all it's because I've wrote it all down in front of me. So the first book that I got from Sense was the Vampire Academy graphic novel and I paid 75 pence for this. The RRP on it says £9.99 and on Goodreads it's got an average rating of 4.12. Essentially I haven't even read Vampire Academy yet. I loved the film when I watched it and apparently if you like the film you're gonna love the book because the film wasn't that great apparently. Um, but I have brought them all. Uh, about four, five weeks ago I went into a charity shop and found all six of the books for 99p each so I brought them. So I mean hopefully they're really good. But yeah, so I found the graphic novel for 75p. Then second book I found was the Frostbites, this is the second book in the series, graphic novel, also for 75p and this one's got a Goodreads rating of 4.32. It doesn't look like this was ever released in the UK, the only RRP I can find is that it was 12 99 like dollars, so like 12 US dollars 99 cent. Um, so yeah, very happy with that. And then Shadow Kiss 
was also 75p which is the third book in the series again $12.99 RRP and on Goodreads it's got an average rating of 4.41 so yeah these are the first books and Vampire Academy it is a six book series but looking into it I do think they've only turned the first three into graphic novels because I couldn't find any others on Goodreads or like any others on the internet but I also couldn't find anything saying that it was only the first three but this is what I'm assuming. I'll quickly read the back of the first one just for anyone who doesn't know anything about Vampire Academy so you've got the general idea. Alyssa Dragomir is a mortal vampire. She must be protective at all times from the fiercest and most dangerous vampires of all time, the ones that will never die. Rose Hathaway is Lisa's best friend and her bodyguard. Now, after two years of illicit freedom, they've been dragged back inside the iron gates of St. Vladimir's Academy. The girls must survive a world of forbidden romances, a ruthless social scene and terrifying nighttime rituals. But above all, they must never let their guard down. So yeah, that's the general gist of it. And I'm really excited about these. And yeah, I got them for 75p, which is crazy. Then also from that charity shop, I got American Gods. I know very little about this. I think I've seen the trailer for it. It does say Noah TV series on Amazon Prime. And I do watch a lot of Prime, so I'm guessing I've seen the trailer for it a few times. That's why it really stuck in my head. Um... But yeah, I paid 75p. The RRP for this one is 8 99 and it's got an average Goodreads rating of 4.1. I'm not going to read the back of it because I don't want to know too much. Like, I like going into my books quite unknowing. So what I do know is this guy's been in prison. He's going to get out of prison. And then his family dies just before he gets out. And he's got to like deal with that. So yeah, that's all the knowledge I'm going into it with. So if you want to look up more for yourself, then please do. But I don't want to be spoiled. And then last but not least from that first charity shop, I got Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen for 50p. I did not know this was a book, but seeing it brought back like all of the memories of being young and like watching the movie of it it's got Lindsay Lohan in so I got it for the nostalgia I hope it's good it's gonna be cringe and probably dreadful but I got it um I paid 50p for this and the RRP is 5 99 and it's got an average could read rate in a 3.33 which I don't think is that bad so hopefully I'll enjoy it then the second charity shop that I went to in town was Acorns charity shop and from this one I got quite a few um <laughs> Basically all of the paperbacks in that shop are 50p and all of the hardbacks are £1, so very good. So first up was School Telegraph Pleasant Seasons of War. So this is book 13 in the School Telegraph Pleasant series. Up until buying this one, I don't own any of them. Let's put it down so. <laughs> Basically up until buying this house in November, the last five years six years maybe I've been moving around a lot haven't kept a lot of books I kept quite a few of my books at my dad's house because I still had a bedroom there when I moved back in there before moving in here we moved all the books up the loft all was good but it did mean that I got rid of a lot of books along the way just because of not having storage space and moving and books were a pain in the arse to move so I owned and had read books one and two of the School Dog Group Pleasant series and really enjoyed them but that was that was many many years ago basically so I saw this for one pound I paid one pound for this hardback and it came out last year so I'm extremely happy about this the RRP of it was 14.99 and it's got an average good reads rating of 4.5 so the reason I've got it is I've decided I am going to rebuy them all. Um, it was a series I was umming and ahhing about rebuying because I am currently rebuying a lot of the books that I previously gave away so I can either reread them or continue on the series. I'd also recently seen the newest book that came out in a spoopy haul video. Um, I don't think I actually watched the video because it was like spoiler filled and I feel like the fact I didn't click on it should have told me I wanted to rebuy them and read them because normally if I'm not interested in reading it I watch the spoiler filled videos of books so yeah um 
essentially it gave me the vibes i wanted to read it i wanted to read all of them again so i brought it this is book 13. so the next one i brought from uh acorns yesterday was the faceless ones this is book three i paid 50p for this the rp is 6.99 and the goodreads rating is 4.4 this is like the next one I need to read, but I do think I'm going to reread books one and two because it's been so many years. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. It looks really good. Um, and yeah, just I saw it after seeing that one. It was 50p. I'm going to reread them at some point. So I got it. Next, I got School Dugger Pleasant, The End of the World. Now, this was an exclusive like mini story that was made for World Book Day in. 2012. I paid 50p. The RRP was £1 because it's just a really tiny little book uh, and it's actually £1 or free in exchange for a £1 World Book Day book token. It's got an average Goodreads rating of 4.31 and this is technically book 6.5 and I do really like to read the series in order so I'll read it in between book 6 and 7. Next from that shop for 50p I got the Miniaturist. The RRP of this is 7 99 and the Goodreads average rating is 3.6. I didn't know anything about this book going in but the back of the book really intrigued me so I'm just going to read this because that's my information. On an autumn day in 1686 18-year-old Nella Ortman arrives at the Grand House in Amsterdam to begin her new life as the wife of wealthy merchant Johannes Brandt. Though curiously distant, he presents her with an extraordinary wedding gift, a cabinet-sized replica of their home. It is to be furnished by an elusive miniaturist whose tiny creations ring eerily true. As Nella uncovers the secret of her new household, she realises the escalating dangers they face. The miniaturist seems to hold their fate in her hands, but does she plan to save or destroy them? I thought that sounded so cool, so interesting, so I got it. It was 50p. Next book was 12 Years a Slave. This was in the shop for 50p and the RRP for it is £2.50, although it does look like whatever shop the previous person got it from was selling it for £1.25. And this has got an average Goodreads rating of 18 I don't know a lot about it. A film came out based on the book a few years ago. I saw the trailer. It looks really interesting and the thing that interests me the most about this is it's based on a true story. There is a blurb, I will show it here and if you want to read it you can pause it and read it but personally I'm not going to. As I said I like going into books not really knowing a lot and learning so go. So yes. Then last but not least from that shop I brought The Swords of Shannara. This is book one of the Shannara trilogy. And again, it's just one that really interested me. It was 50p, the RRP is 8.99 and the Goodreads rating is 3.76. I'll read the back of it because that's what interested me. Also, it looks like the sort of book that I'd usually read, like it's very fantasy-esque. Long ago, the world of the Foreland was torn apart by the wars of ancient evil. But in the Vale, the half-human, half-elven Shia Osford now lives in peace. Honestly, that line there got me like half human, half elven. But yeah. Um, until the mysterious forbidding figure of the Druid Al Al Alanon, I think it's going to be pronounced, I'll look at it when I actually read it, appears to reveal that the supposedly long dead warlock lord lives again. Shia must embark upon an elemental quest to find the only weapon powerful enough to keep the creatures of darkness at bay, the fumbled sword of Shinnok. Yeah, I think it's really cool and I'm really excited to read it. Then the third shop that I went into on Friday was the British Heart Foundation. However, I didn't actually buy anything. So then I went into St Richard's Hospice. This is the one that I normally leave pretty much to last, like in within the centre of the town. It's the most expensive. I might go to others afterwards, which I did that day. Um, but they're like further out of town, so it's not like in the main circuit. And from that shop, I brought The Testaments by Margaret Atwood. 
I read The Handmaid's Tale and I enjoyed it um and it was one that I read and I was like I enjoy it but it's not my favourite and I have some problems with it if I see the follow-up book in a charity shop I will get it if not I'm not going to go out of my way to buy it you know so I found it in a charity shop it cost me two pound the RRP for this one is 20 pound because it is a hardback copy um and honestly it looks like it's still being sold for that price it came out late 2019 I think I saw when I was looking and the Goodreads rating is 4.2 so I'm excited to get to this and pick it up then last but not least I went to the charity shop Happy Staffy Rescue and I got the fifth season for 50p the RRP of this one is 8.99 and the Goodreads rating is 4.28 very excited to read it I've heard a lot of good things and yeah i can't wait to get to it i'm gonna take a break now get a drink because i've been recording for 20 minutes and i've only just got through day one hopefully i've been able to cut it down a bit shorter apologies if this has turned out to be a really long video and then i'll go through day two's books we're back for day two's round of a book which is today i have a lot to go through here um i'm gonna try and make it quick because this is gonna start getting really long so day two the first charity shop that i went to was Kemp Hospice and in that shop I picked up Northern Lights. This is a book part of a trilogy by Philip Pullman and it was made into a movie as well called The Golden Compass and I've got a feeling that um, a TV show is being made of it currently. Um, but yeah I've basically been rebuying this series as well. I brought the second book in the series a couple of months ago now and I've been keeping my eye open for the other two and I found the first one. I paid I don't actually know how much I paid for this one. Uh, in that charity shop, I brought four books, and this one didn't have a price tag on it, but I just trusted the woman to put it through the till at whatever price she deemed fit. Um, so yeah, it was. She told me that all the books in the shop tend to be marked at around one fifty or one eighty, so I assume it cost me one of those. The RRP is five ninety nine, and the Goodreads average rating is three point nine nine. Okay, so also from that shop, I got a Dance with Dragons. This cost me £2. The RRP is £9.99 and the Goodreads average rating is £4.35. The whole of the Game of Thrones series is one that I've been collecting. I haven't started reading them yet. I haven't watched the TV show, but I really want to read them. Um, apparently, they're really good. They're really well written and... I also want to read them and do the thing where you like tab every death because apparently that looks amazing. I've got four of the books in the series. I'm not sure which four um, off the top of my head, but like they're all on my little sheet. So I've got a Google Doc basically. And when I brought the book, I delete it from the sheet. So this is one that I needed. So I got it. Also was A Dance with Dragons 2, which I'm now presuming is book seven as this was like split into two parts. Hello, Jafar. Do you need attention? Mm. This is Jafar. He wants to be cute. Mm. I can't remember where I was, but basically this is no book seven. I paid two pounds. The RRP is 9.99 and the Goodreads rating is 4.43. So very good. Then last but not least from that charity shop, I saw this one. I saw like the spine of it and I was like fire fire and you know when you know you recognize it but i could tell already it wasn't the first book in a series i was like right i need to look this up looked it up and it's book two of the grace thing series which i was so excited to find this um i paid one pound 50 for it the rrp is 7.99 and the goodreads rating is 4.09 and yeah the book the first book in this series is grace thing and the reason i was so excited to find this one is because from July onwards for four months, there is a read along happening called the Grace Thing Along. And I was like, that sounds so cool. Um, I really like the sound of the books. But yeah, I found book two in the charity shop. So I'm really happy about that. So yeah, that's that one. I'm gonna leave it like that for now and you'll see why in a little bit. Then we went to an independent bookshop. It's called Wire Forest Books. It's really cute, it's really small um, and it's really nice in there. Uh, so this is new, so the RRP is 7 99 and that's what was paid for it. Uh, my boyfriend very kindly brought me this one. And the Goodreads average rating for this one is 3.75. Basically, 
I've heard a lot of amazing things about this recently. I know it's LGBTQ+, um, and obviously it's June right now, so a lot of people have been making videos of like books they recommend. So I've seen a lot of it, and I've seen a lot of very good reviews for it. I'll quickly read the back, because that is all I know about it. It's 200 years since Cinderella found her prince, but the fairy tale is over. Sophia knows the story though, off by heart, because every girl has to recite it daily, from when she's tiny until the night she's sent to the royal ball for choosing, and every girl knows that she has only one chance, for the lives of those not chosen by a man at the ball are forfeit. But Sophia doesn't want to be chosen, she doesn't want to go to the ball at all, not when she's afraid the girl she loves might be chosen too. Pushed beyond breaking by a society that denies everything she is, Sophia sets out on a journey that will remake her world into one where she gets to choose. I think it sounds amazing. I'm very excited by it. And yeah, that's that. So after the independence store, we then went to St Richard's, the same charity shop but different town. And in there, I found the 100. I'm currently watching the TV series for this, I'm on like season three, and I'm really enjoying it, so I'm very interested to read the books. I did have a quick look online, and it looks like the TV series is loosely based off the books, and it's got like similar characters and similar stuff like that, but it doesn't follow the same storyline, and different things happen in it, so I'm not going to read this yet, because I want to finish this TV series, because I can't read the series and watch it at the same time, it's going to be too confusing. But yeah, I paid $1.95 for this, the RRP is $7.99 and the average Goodreads rating is 3.58. Then I also picked up Stranger Things, Suspicious Minds, and I didn't know that the Stranger Things were books. It's not. Um, so this is based off of the TV series and it's the first official novel. And it looks like it's set before the TV series. I'm not entirely sure. I know very little about this. I paid $1.95. The RRP is $8.99 and the average Goodreads review is 3.61. I think that sounds interested and I'm very excited about it. Then last but not least from that shop I got Warriors The New Prophecy. This is a book about superhero cats and that is pretty much all I know about it. Um, I paid $1.25 for this and it RRP is 6 99 and it's Goodreads average rating is 4.28. The reason I brought this one is Jay's little niece is reading this um, so I thought I'd buy it and give it a go. On to the next shop so then I went into Happy Staffy Rescue and in there for 50p they had got a feast for crows which is I think the or for the fifth book or something like that in the Game of Thrones. I've already said I'm trying to collect them all so I can read them all. Yeah, I got it for 50p. The RRP for this one is 8 99 and the Goodreads average rating is a 4.14. Then after Happy Staffy, we went over to the Oxfam charity shop and in that shop um, I found Graceling, which as you might remember from earlier is the first book of the Graceling series. So I'm now actually sorted for July. I can read this, which is very exciting. And if I find the other one out, here we go. So you can see they are different covers, but honestly, I don't mind. Um, the spines look pretty together and they are the same height. So that is good enough for me. Um, I paid 99p for this one and the Goodreads average rating is 4.06 and now that I've got books one and two I've got two and a half to three and a half months to find books for three and four so very exciting all I really know about this is um people are born with skills and I don't know what the main character's name is but the main character their skill is grace of killing and like they have to carry the burden of that skill and that's all I'm going into it with the knowledge of so hopefully it'll be pretty good. Then from that shop I also got the short second life of Brie Tanner. Um, again just one of the books that I'm rebuying. Um, I used to own the whole Twilight series, I got rid of them, I've been slowly rebuying them. So I rebought this one because I haven't got it yet. Um, the RRP for that is $11.99, I paid 99p and the average rating 
is 3.51 and I do remember really liking this one at some point I think I'm going to reread like the entire Twilight series because in my head even though people thought they were cringe back then but in my head reading the books they were really good so I'm wondering if they actually live up to it or not so then I went over to the British Red Cross where I found School Dog Rippers and the first book you might remember from earlier I mentioned I was leaving it till later to give the description that's because I found the first book and I paid 95p for this. The RRP is 6.99 and the average Goodreads rating is 4.13. And on they read the back. With his sunglasses gone, there was no denying the fact that he had no face. All he had was a skull for a head. Meet school dog root peasant, wise cracking detective, powerful magician, sworn enemy of evil. Oh yes, and dead um yeah as i said i've already read books one and two but i really don't remember them a lot um next in the video you'll have seen another st richard's hospice i didn't buy any books from this one weren't any that tickled my fancy so i left it and then we went to another charity shop it didn't have a name on it it just said like helping the local children um and from that charity shop i brought the amber spyglass as i said earlier with northern lights I'm rebuying these books, they're really interesting, I really enjoyed them at the time. Uh, I don't think I gave a description earlier, there's a girl, she's got a polar bear. That's all you need to know and it's a Philip Pullman book, they're very well known so hopefully you know what they're about. Um, and honestly if you don't know what they're about, read them without knowing anything because that's what I did the first time and I loved it. Last but not least, on the way back home we went to a place called the Mucky Duck bookshop and this is really exciting it's not very far from us and i basically found it i was looking for books for sale on marketplace so i always keep my eye out and it had been posted on there that essentially they got too many books what we actually did is took the books that we were going to take to charity shops i've got a bag of probably around 10 books and i ended up picking up five books from there Oof, so i picked up the duff uh this is another one i read it before read it when i was younger I have seen this version of it in charity shops before, the movie toy in edition. When I was younger, I read the like normal edition without the movie toy in and honestly I wasn't really a big fan of the movie. So I've seen it in charity shops and didn't pick it up because you know I can wait for it. Um but for free, I'm happy with the movie toy in edition, so I got this one. Uh Duff stands for designated ugly fat friend. And that is what the entire book is about, being the door. So this was free, the RRP is 6 dollars and the Goodreads average rating is 3.82. So, happy. Then next I picked up the complete Cosmicon. Um, I read the back and it sounded interesting, so I'll just read the back. The Cosmic Comics tell the story of the history of the universe. From the Big Bang through millennia and across galaxies, it is witnessed through the eyes of Cosmic Note All. I'll insert the name here. I'll need to look up to pronounce it. An exuberant chameleon like figure who takes the shape of a dinosaur, a mollusk, a steamer captain, and a moon milk gatherer, among others. This is the first complete edition in English of Italio Calvino's funny, whimsical, and delightful stories, which blend scientific fact, flights of fancy parody and wordplay to show the strangeness of the wonders of the world. I thought that sounded really cool um, and it had been left in the book swap. Um, so the RRP for this one is 9.99 and the Goodreads average rating is 4.18 so I'm really hoping it's a good one. So then next I picked up Crusade. Uh, the RRP is 6.99 and the Goodreads average rating is 3.97. I've read the back of it thought it sounded amazing picked it up got back to filling my little sheet you know I've been looking up on Goodreads and found out it's the second book in a series so I'm not going to give the description of the back in case it gives anything away and um, in my mind I'm going to forget it I picked this one up unfortunately it just happens to be the second book <laughs> so I'll uh, sort that out at a later date and then I picked up four quartets this is by T.S. Eliot and it's like a book of poetry. I really enjoy poetry but I don't think, I think I've got like one or two poetry books, that's it. So I thought I'd grab it. The RRP for this one is 10.99 and the Goodreads average rating is 4.38. Um, I've never read any T.S. Eliot but obviously 
to well-known names so i thought it'd be good to give it a go and yeah then very last but not least is star wars before the awakening again it was free it was left in the book swap the rrp is 7.99 and the goodreads average rating is 3.8 although it's a star wars book don't get me wrong i love 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 the star wars films but i don't actually have an interest in reading it but both my brother and my dad are obsessed with star wars so i thought i'd pick this one up and see which one of them wants it because i'm sure one of them will want the book version of the star wars stuff I'm sorry if this has been super quick fire. I said it was going to be quick fire and then I felt like I've still talked for ages. But that is the end of the video. I have loved doing this. If I do this again, I'm definitely going to split up just into a book shopping video and then separately a haul video or maybe just do one day. But oh well, it's been a super long video about books and loving books and reading books. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, let me know down below if there's any bookish videos or any other videos that you'd like me to do in the future. Uh, do give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe down below for more and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> There's people walking about. The dark underbelly, what you don't see. <laughs> me being sweaty and grey. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to close the window, those kids are bloody annoying. But it doesn't shut, follow, blah, blah, blah.